Hi, John Moran here. I am the founder and CEO of Smart Beach Investor. Love that you're here. And I'm also the founder and CEO of Keller Williams Realties at the Beach Team. And uh, today's uh, podcast is a introduction to our at the Beach Team real estate outfit, which um, is interesting because we serve uh, the beach community here in Destin, South Walton County, Panama City, all the way over to Pensacola Beach. And now we are about to enter into the Alabama Gulf Coast market. It's serving Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and Perdido Key. And we're fired up for it. There's a whole new investor market out there that we're going to be able to service. So as a transition into that, I have a great guest coming up here, Jeff Adamson, who is the broker and team leader of Keller Williams Realty, Emerald Coast. And um, he's going to talk about our history here at Keller Williams and, and how we've grown up and are about to jump to a whole new market over in Orange Beach. So please enjoy this conversation. It'll lead you to Orange Beach and all the investment gold over there. Check us out. We're on uh, YouTube and under At The Beach Team. Find us there. This is the Smart Beach Investor Podcast, where we explore how investors leverage real estate at the beach to live big lives and build their personal wealth. If you are an investor at the beach or you want to be, you found the right place. Enjoy today's show and be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode of the Smart Beach Investor. Hi, I'm John Moran. I am the CEO and founder of Keller Williams Realties at the Beach Team, real estate outfit out of uh, Destin, Florida. And um, we're about to move into Orange Beach, Alabama. And uh, Go over there and, and light it up and help a lot of folks buy and sell a lot of real estate. It's going to be great. We're really excited about it. Um, today, I, I'm with Katie Luce, our Director of Operations. Hi, John. Thanks hey. for having me. Yeah, man. And Jeff Adamson, who is the team leader here at Keller Williams Realty, Emerald Coast. How are you, Jeff? Very good. Good. Thanks, John. Awesome. Thanks for me. Awesome. Yeah, we've been doing this a long time, haven't we? <clears throat> yes. 20 years for me. Long time. I think I'm 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> And uh, so we've seen a lot of things come and go. We've seen a lot of teams come and go. We've seen a lot of agents come and go. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of what our group at the B team has been able to do. Let me just give you some sense of what we have been able to do. Just give you guys some, some basis. Katie, NAR, National Association of Realtors, said in 2020, what was the median number of transaction per agent? Nine. Nine. Mm. Agents are doing nine deals. Okay. Our team, 30 plus. Wow. Each agent averages at least 30 plus. It's amazing. They're crushing. How about money earned, Katie? What, what is NAR saying the median income for a realtor in 2020 was? 43,330. 43,300. How about KW, Jeff? What are you guys doing? Uh, this last year was the best in history, and it was 110,500 round numbers. Nice. What'd you co say about that? It was one of the best in all of Keller Williams. Nice. Nice. You know what? That's cool. Um, our group, 481,000 is the mean income for our group, a little lower, 481.7 something. That's incredible. That's the best ever for you too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's up. I think last year was 465 or something. Very so good. it's definitely up, which is, I'm so proud of them. Yeah. So, so proud of them. In addition, they're out buying real estate, getting passive income. They're building incredible lives. It's what we do. And um, it's really cool. So that's a baseline. Our agents are crushing. They're absolutely crushing. Um You've been around, Jeff. Why is that? What, what is your take? Tell me what your take is. Okay. It's awesome. Um, so the bottom, bottom line is, the short answer is, you guys, you and your team shows up every day. There is peer pressure competition friendly to have fun and get their work done, scripts and dialogues, making the calls. And honestly, John, it's 15 years you have spent to get to this point, to lead this team to this level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't make any bones about it. I make a good amount of money. All right. I'm not struggling. Okay. But golly, if I don't love to see what these guys pull in, you know what I mean? I mean? That's awesome that you, I wanted to talk a little bit about that and you, because I use you guys as an example. We have over 400 agents here. I don't even know how many teams and, um, 
you have you are the first one that has taken your team to the millionaire real estate agent book prototypical level where we'll call it you're at the sixth or seventh level where you're not in the business doing the transactions and yet you know you're exceeding the millionaire real estate agent goal income level because of what you know and what you've put together and and along with your team no one can do it alone right Oh, for sure. For yeah. Sure. So the, if anyone's read the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book and how to run a massive team inside of a brokerage, John is doing that exactly as Gary Keller's written it. Right. And uh, let's just be clear. It's not that massive. I think we're up to eight agents. Um, I think we just added some new ones. So we're up maybe at 10 listing agents. 10 agents. And then we have three admin now. Yeah. Yeah. We've grown since I've been here. There's I've been no with question. you. For six years and our t- I've seen it grow already. It's, it's amazing. Just the right. six years I've been here, how right. much has changed. So Katie, you're going to know this. Remember when we first uh, interviewed with you? Yes. And I Jeff do. will remember this too. What do I do with my paper and pen? Oh, when you draw the map of the United States and how you want to take it over. Yeah. <laughs> I remember right. that all the time. Yeah. Right. We're going to start in Destin, Florida and we're going to start moving out. When do we start talking about that, Jeff? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Maybe 08. Forever ago. No, it's it's early. It's starting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a while to get your hub. We'll call it the hub. Oh, my. And your admin, you need really talented people to support that, what you guys do. And you have that here. Okay, so here's exactly what we do. I'll show you. I'm going to draw it out on my board here, Carl Rove style, right? So we start out with habits, okay? And uh, then we build up here to systems. And um, then we come down here to learning. Spell it right. And then we come down here to skills, all right? Simple wheel, one feeding the other over and over, right? We start out habits. We're teaching our people from the go. Show up every day, get the good habit, do what you need to do, role play, script, whatever it takes. Get yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally ready to do the job. Every day, always, five days a week. Good habits. Then we take those good habits and we apply good systems to them right? We're letting our habits work for us in these good systems. Good habits without good systems, you lose. We're losing. But we got our systems in place. Now you take those good habits and those good systems and we learn. We keep trying new things, practicing. Is this as best we can do or can we do better? And then we get better and more skills. We apply those skills to our habits, more systems around and around and around. That thing gets so fast. It starts throwing off things, right? Property management, right? Throws off things. Orange Beach throws off things. Um, Contracting, our own whatever. We start building our stack now. We have multi-levels of income streams all on top of our wheel here, turning faster and faster. So we just do it. Habits, our guys show up. Our systems are well-designed. We learn, and we just keep getting better and better at our skills. Simple as that, right? That's not, we haven't revolutionized the wheel, except we're using it, Uh right? How come everybody doesn't do that? Gary says things like the, if you can get past the boredom of doing what you do every day, the success will follow that. And most people reach for shiny objects somewhere along the line and get away from that. Kid, it is boring, right? Yeah, and that's what we just talked about, this the grind, Mm -hmm. you know, of every single day coming in here. And we try to say from nine to noon, you do nothing but your calling or whatever. And it is. It can be a grind. I do part of it as well. And it's like you want to make excuses to find everything but that to do. But that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And if you can get through that, you can see success for sure. You know what the greatest thing for me is? When I walk down the hallway and all here is all these conversations happening, everybody's engaged in conversations. So great. So yeah, they were just doing that. I walked down the hall of your office, and that's yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you don't make four hundred eighty-one thousand as a secret agent. Yeah, right, right, (laughs) right. And um, 
The other really cool thing that they do, and they're all into it, and we do it every morning, right, Katie? Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, here, I'll show you. This is what we're into right now, okay? Lifestyle investor. This is what we're reading, right? If you're going to sell investment properties, if you're going to own investment properties, you got to be able to talk the talk. You got to walk the walk. All right. So we're really investing in investing, right? We want to understand and be able to talk the, the, the talk with our folks. Um, and one of the things we talked about today, and, and I think you're doing it with, with your group, Jeff, is we're trying to get away from being transactional realtors, just people doing transactions, because anybody can do that, right? That's a Zillow thing. That's a right. truly, you're not going to get paid. If anybody can do something, then they don't need to pay you. Mm -hmm. So we want to get away from transactional and get into more of a, an advisory or a consultant type of situation. And if you don't know, if you're not living that life as an investor of, of real estate, uh, short-term rentals, it's really hard to fake that, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So most of our folks are now, if they haven't bought, they're in the process of buying. Katie and her husband are out looking right now. They're about to start building their passive income, right? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. I, I'm sorry. It just brought this back to me. Like when I started with you six years ago, I just started as a entry level admin and just what I have learned here. I never thought in a million years we'd be going over like wealth stuff and how to grow, grow your personal wealth and at the beach team. And then here I am. Yes, I have a home now. And then I'm about to buy an investment property. It's just like mind blowing. Right. It really is. Right. It's really cool. Really cool. Uh, other folks, you're not the only one. We have several members on our, our group that are doing it. We preach, use real estate to earn the income so you can build your wealth through real estate investing and passive income. So that, such that you can replace the income you earn, right? So if these guys are making 481000 from their efforts, we got to get them up to 481000 in passive income. And hopefully over a over million dollars is kind yeah. of where we're going. Yeah, That's leading to a life worth living is when you do it that way. When you're just transactional, that's when you see agents burn out in three years, five sure. years, and they get out of the business. This way, the the life enhance, enhancements are creating happiness beyond the wealth building. Yeah. And that's what keeps the people excited about going forward. It's really cool. Um our people live really big lives. Is that fair to say? Yeah. And I to go off of Jeff's point too, and all of our people, we've been all together for many years. It's not like we see people come and go. It's we're all here for the long run. I mean- Oh, some come and go. Yeah, some come and go. But I mean, I've been here six years and mm -hmm. Bill, other agents, Courtney, I mean, 10 years plus. I mean- It matters. And that's what's helping John get to the wealth building yeah. piece because until you get the whole group together with the systems and the habits and the skills, you don't get to go there. You don't get yeah. to go there. But here, here, you know what? For me, I'm a little older. I'm 56 years old, right? Um, I'm the oldest one. Well, me and Gil. But- Katie, you're what? I'm 36. 36. Mm -hmm. Building your wealth now, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine in 20 years, you're going to have 10 times what I have when you're my age. And she would have never gotten that without you because schools don't teach exactly. this now, schools aren't teaching. right? Courtney. Courtney's 33 years old, owns mm -hmm. multiple properties, earning a ton of money, paid off her debt, living a big dream, right? Skinner, John Skinner, incredible agent, mid-30s. Is he mid thirties? Maybe he's upper thirties. No, he's forty. Well, he just turned forty. All right, time flies, right? All right, so he's Sorry, forty. Skinner, but he is 40. he's forty. <laughs> but the last ten years have been pretty good for him, haven't they, Jeff? Yes, they have. Yeah, he's living a good life. He came from a struggling individual agent, joined your team, and is on the road to success. Yeah. He's all of them work really hard, and they're very smart, and they're great professionals. I mean, I, I'm not taking credit. I may have given them a vehicle and a road, but mm -hmm. they're driving it. Yep. Um. Alyssa, I look at one of our newer ones. Alyssa, just getting started. She's a baby, early 20s. What, what's Alyssa like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What she's young. She came here early from 20s. California with a retail background yeah. alone. That took a lot of guts to do that mm -hmm. and got on your team. We're going to get her into a house this year. That's her way onto your team, yep. I'll say. Yep. The goal is for her to buy a, she's renting, to buy a house that turned that house into her first investment property and keep on going from there. Mm -hmm. And she's well on her way. So in, in 10, 15 years, She'll pass away and come over for uh, another great story. I'm going to go into real quick is one of our newer people just starting brand spanking new early twenties, right? 
doesn't even have her license yet, but she's in here working. So when she does get her license, she's running. Smart, because she's smart. Incredible. And I remember she comes in and, you know, we interview people. It's like, all right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I'll be on your team. All right, let's, let's see what we got. Why do you want to be in real estate? What, did you see something on TV? Are you watching Millionaire Real Estate Agent or something? I mean, what's, what's going on here? Never seen them. Oh, okay. That's interesting, right? Um, so what, what, what's going on then? Well, I think real estate, you were there, right? She said, I think I can make a lot of money with real estate. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, good. I like that. Because here's the thing. We all want to help people achieve their goals and help them buy real estate. No, right? We want to help you buy and sell your stuff so we earn the money so we can buy our stuff that we want to do and invest, yeah. okay? So I, I appreciate helping people achieve their dreams. Love that, but no, right? So she says, I want to earn a lot of money. I think I can do it in real estate. I'm thinking, wow, okay. Young gal, she knows her thing. All right, what are you going to do if you start, I don't know, let's say you make $150,000 this year. No, I take that back. Let's go back a step. I said, how much do you want to make? And she kind of hemmed and hawed. She danced around it, right, Katie? Mm-hmm. I don't think she yeah. could answer it. I don't think she really went down that road mentally. It's unusual. Yet, Most right? people just say 100000 100000 yeah. They read in a book somewhere, right? Right, right. But, right. but I don't think she really thought it through. Like, oh, you know, if I had, I don't know. So then I came back. All right, let me ask you this. Let's say in 2022 you you earn 150,000. What does that do for your family? What is what do you what what does your house look like? What are you doing? What are you going to do with that money? And, and what she say? Do you remember? You offer house? I think she said I'm going to buy a house. Okay. I thought it was something like that. I'm going to buy a house. I'm thinking, "Dang. Perfect. This gal, she's smart, right? She's young. She wants to earn money. She thinks real estate's the way to go. She's going to buy a house. She's not going to buy 20 cars or some weird stuff. <laughs> She's going to buy a house. I'm thinking, okay, I like this, like this. Yeah. Um, and then what? You buy your house, then what are you going to do? What'd she say? Do you remember? Get an investment property. She's gonna, no, she said, I'm going to start investing for my kids because I want my kids to have a good life. Remember that? Yeah. Change okay, the Okay, I know who you're talking. Okay, I was getting, we have two new people. Okay. I know who you're but talking about. Now you know, now right? I know who you're That's talking That's exactly about. what she yeah. said, isn't it? Yeah, she and I'm did. Thinking, that was Dang. Cool. I'm th- and I said, okay, so you're going to buy a house. You're going to get this investing in some sort of 401 Roth, whatever, for your kids. Like that. Very smart. Have you ever thought about buying investment properties and getting passive income such that you don't have to work unless you want to? And she was like, oh, my word. It clicked. I don't know yeah. anybody who knows how to do that. I would love to learn how to do that. But I don't know who. And remember, I said, you found your people. Mm-hmm. You are our, we are your people and you're our people. Yep, she was supposed to come. Yep. Yeah. We're going to help you. And since then, and, and, what, and then I'm like, I told her, you know, this person's doing this. She was your age, 50000 in debt, came here, started doing the job. She now is, you know, a millionaire and just crushing it. I want to do what she's doing. Okay, but here's what I don't, I'm going to do what she, let me tell you what she's doing. I'm going to do what she's doing. Isn't that what she said? Yeah. And the cool thing is she asked a lot of questions because she really wants to know how to do it. I want to do what she's doing. She wants to do it. A lot of people have a dream about high achievement, right? And they don't do the work. I got a text on my phone this morning from Courtney. This gal's working with Courtney. Courtney's training her up right now. Mm-hmm. She's doing great. That's all it said. I said, yeah, that's right. Awesome. They're going to be really good. We had a really good group. So the reason why we're having this conversation is we're moving into Alabama. We're expanding. We're looking for people who want to join our group. We're looking for our people in that we are their people. So um, I'm hoping to get this message out. and. Um, Courtney's coming over with me to Alabama. She's going to start coaching people. She's going to mentor them. And just so you know, Courtney made over $700,000 this year. 33 years old. I remember when she came here with her mother interviewing. (laughs) She's just a young kid. Amazing. Yep, it certainly is. 50 grand in debt. Yeah. Living with her dad. Paid off her- her Student loans. Paid off her student loans. Mm -hmm. um, Bought a house. Bought another house, kept the first one as investment property, got a second house on a coastal dune lake. If you don't know the area, coastal dune lakes, homes. Really nice. That was big time Her stuff. Home is beautiful. Yeah. That was big time stuff. 
and she just bought an investment condo. And now we're looking at what's next. Yep. Next so time. great. So Courtney's going to come over and she's going to start teaching folks how to do it. Um, and she's going to be the mentor, the teacher, and so am I. And Katie is going to be our admin watching over our admin. And we're going to grow this thing. So we're looking for some folks. If you're interested, if you know somebody who is interested, and quite honestly, I would say our ideal person probably doesn't even have their license yet. Probably doesn't even have their license yet. They're wanting to live a big life. They're willing to come in and learn to see what it takes and then do the work. We'll help you get your license. We'll coach you up. We'll train you. We'll, we'll give you what you need. All you got to do is do the work. So you're looking for talented people with big goals that want to be to high achievement. Yeah. Jump into a world with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. To go further than they could have ever gone by themselves or without the team. Yeah, probably. Because generally speaking, when you're running with a group, you can go faster. You see it in racing, auto racing. Yeah. You see it in r running. You see it herd mentality in nature. It's better when you're with a group of like-minded high achievers. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to run with low achievers, but if you run with high achievers, right, hang out with the best you can find. So everybody that shows up, they don't get to join the team, right? You've no. got to earn the right to get on this team. For sure. Mm. And you got to earn the right to stay. It's not for everybody. Let's be honest. It's not for everybody. Mm -mm. But it's for the ones that, that want it and can make it work. It, it's not like we're crushing people, is it? No, no. I, I think it's about what Jeff was saying too. Like you got to fit in. You want to be high achievable, high success and stuff. Some people, it's just not the path that they want. But right. our people, enough. we just kind of stick together. And that's team, why we've all been here for so long. That's right. The team has high standards. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. what you're looking for, people with like standards. All right. And, and let, let's be honest. We we get here about, what, 830? Mm-hmm. Quarter to nine, somewhere around there. We do our role play, all that crap in the morning, nine o'clock to nine fifteen, nine thirty. Right, right. And then we start doing our thing. What time are most people out of here, Katie? Uh, early afternoon. Early afternoon. <laughs> and, and what's early? I'm not talking like early, like four fifty. No, no, I mean like <laughs> one two. Well, not that. They're, they're probably here <laughs> two thirty or three o'clock. Yeah. We start seeing them. Yeah. Move they start fading the at two. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and what's left is us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're here locking the door sleep at five. Up and yeah. Turn off the lights. <laughs> but um and, and generally speaking, they're working Monday through Friday. Yes. Yeah. So if that's what it's a, a good life to you sounds like, million dollar income, traveling, nine to five with the future, call us. Let's see if we can put this thing together.